hello. I haven't vlogged in two weeks, which felt so weird. I don't think I'm gonna take a break like that again because I honestly missed it. I just got ready. I'm heading to the Miami Open in about 10 minutes. Um, life update, so we bought a condo in Miami. We are all moved in. I just have these boxes, like 10 giant cardboard boxes that I need to bring down to the trash and then I'll give you guys a condo tour. I always get questions about like where we live because it's kind of confusing. We own in Miami and then we also rent in LA. So we kind of split our time between the two when we're home, which is really not very often. It feels so nice to have a home base here, but I'm going to be honest, the last week was so stressful moving. And then we got these foster kittens, which are adorable, but are also work. And also not vlogging was just kind of weird. So I'm really happy to be back. So we're in Miami until April 5th. And then we head to Europe to do the whole Europe tennis swing. But since I'm gonna be here for the next week or so, I thought that in this vlog, I would kind of include how I get back into a routine. Honest, I don't really have many friends in Miami. I have like two friends. So when I'm here, I get a little bit lonely, but it also gives me a chance to really just kind of reset, get into a routine, like take care of myself. So I wanted to just kind of show you guys how how I do that in this vlog. Here is the fit for today. He's playing on center court, so I would dress up a little. These shoes are from Steve Madden, and this is from Shopo. I will link it in the description. home taylor won his match i'm on the couch with the kittens can you say hi I like the new couch days ago someone on Instagram told me to listen to Habibi Funk and it's literally all that I've been listening to in the morning. I've been feeling extra stress the last week and feeling kind of off and in turn I completely fell off my workout routine I know I need to go to the gym today I really don't want to so here is a hack that I use to force myself to work out this is pre-workout if you've never taken pre-workout before it's kind of hard to describe it's really supposed to just give you like a boost during your workout however if you take pre-workout and you don't work out it is truly one of the most uncomfortable feeling you feel like a rapid heart rate it makes your skin very like itchy and hot if i don't want to go to the gym i will just force myself to take a shot of this so then i basically have to go otherwise i'm gonna feel really really shitty for like an hour and a half a lot of people dry scoop it i can i'll die yeah usual workouts for a week i go on an outdoor walk every single morning non-negotiable I will either go to the gym and lift weights or I will do a workout class. So I really like hot Pilates, mat Pilates, and berries, which is a class that is half cardio on a treadmill and half strength training. But I'm gonna go to the gym today and do a lower body workout. So I will show you guys what that usually looks like for me. to Miami Beach right now to meet up with a new friend. I've never actually met her before, but we've been friends mutuals on TikTok for a while and I've had like five people tell me that I need to hang out with her because we would get along, but her name's Silvana. You might have seen her on TikTok. We're going to a really cute Italian restaurant called Call Me Gabby and they have really good pizza and pasta.
I have an Alexa that sits on my bedside. Oh yeah. And it just stays on it. Like it does a slideshow, but it's the only it's only that. So the whole until when I go home, I'm gonna see it. When I go to my bed, I'm gonna see right next to me. What are your like main things on it again? So real estate, travel, losing weight. Gotta finish up two more months and I can get my my license. Yep. And by December, I should have a ticket to go to France. Je m'appelle Ronald. Yep. That means okay. my name is Ronald. I just got ready for the match. Taylor is playing in the quarterfinals at 8.30 p.m. against Alcara. Here is the fit for tonight. It's a night match, so I thought I could wear pants. Usually, Miami Open, I have to wear a dress because it's so hot, but it'll be a little bit cooler tonight. So the tournament has a car for me that's been driving me to and from the matches, which is so nice. <laughs> it is pouring rain right now and the match got delayed. There's a good chance that he's not going to be on until like midnight tonight. So we're on a little errand run to get energy drinks for everybody. Got it? It's good. <laughs> so I got rained out. Morgan is driving, driving us back. <laughs> we're watching the Nelk Hasbula video. <laughs> I did want to give a condo tour this morning because we are finally all settled in. So, the kittens are just exploring. Oh, what is that? Don't eat that. <laughs> I'll start here. So I have some boxes and laundry that I need to take care of, but this is when you walk in. So this is like the living room and the kitchen. We just finally got this couch set up. That was kind of the last step and I accessorized everything green, which I'm sure is not surprising to anybody. Our good friends in Miami just sent us this book as a housewarming gift. It's really cool. It has all of the LV trunk cases from different sports. So this one is from Roland Garros. There's Rafa from like the eight trillion times that he won French Open. I got this cute little cactus scratching post because it kind of matched the aesthetic, but the kittens absolutely hate it. They kind of just have random tennis decor everywhere. This is just a giant glass tennis ball. This is a tennis ball that's actually a speaker. This is where I always sit to like edit and do work. And I've got my French press and a little incense and coffee every morning and then this is the guest bathroom and then we have a second bedroom back there where taylor has his gaming set up that i'm not gonna bother showing here is our bedroom i haven't had a chance to add any like decor art but i want to put this art piece that i found on etsy up there and then i've just got a dresser here a nightstand here i just got this book from target and this is actually part of our bed. So this is from Eight Sleep. This is really obnoxious, but basically it has a tube that sends water like all the way back here into the bed and it controls the temperature while we're sleeping. So I have specific settings and then Taylor has specific settings, but it'll like cool the bed while you're in deep sleep and then heat up the bed when you wake up in the morning. Then this is my closet. Taylor's closet is in the other room because there was not space for his stuff. But I have all of my pants down here and then all my dresses here and then shirts and jackets there. My bags, jewelry, shoes, etc. I don't have a ton of stuff here because most of it is in LA. This is the master bathroom. I just ordered new mirrors because these ones are kind of dingy at the bottom. lazy as hell and one of my least favorite things in the world to do is to wash my hair so I only fully wash my hair like once a week and like every two or three days I will do this okay this is gonna look kind of ridiculous but basically I will just section off the front 
part of my hair over the rest so that like the back parts of my hair don't get wet. A little baby strand. That's all I wash. And I just Dyson the front section that I wash. Then the rest of it, dry shampoo baby. I just took the clip out. This is like day six hair as we mentioned last night the match did get canceled because of the rain they were maybe gonna do it at like midnight but then they just ended up canceling it at 10 o'clock thank god otherwise we would have been up until probably 4 a.m last night the pants i wore last night got completely ruined in the rain so this is tonight's outfit <laughs> Taylor lost his match, which is fine. Can't win them all. I just ordered a mochi. <gasps> you nibble it on my toes. Anyways, we just ordered mochi mochi, which is just sushi. I order the same thing every time a salmon, avocado roll, and edamame. And then I dip my edamame in spicy mayo, which if you have not tried, you need to try it. It's so good. And I'm just editing my vlog, which is this vlog which is kind of weird but i like to get a head start on it so i'm not like editing all in one day because then i get kind of overwhelmed because it takes a long time really never wearing a shirt in any of my vlogs what do i want to do tomorrow are there any good movies out i feel yes, like we haven't been to that bed. dungeons and dragons one's supposed to be really good it's literally supposed to be really good <laughs> why are you laughing no if we can go Supposed to be good. Charming thief and band of unlikely adventures embark on an epic quest. Yeah, it's like, it's like long Lord, Lord of the Rings. Relic. It's like Lord of the Rings style stuff. Like, I know you like that. You do like that. I do like that stuff. Yeah. Maybe we could go to the driving range. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of my goals for 2023 was to get well, one good at tennis. We're working on that. And two was learn how to hit a golf ball. Hardest sports to get good at. Well, note how I didn't say get good at golf i said to learn how to hit a golf ball the one before you actually hit that one really well okay and it was a little high but you hit down on it. yeah yeah okay you okay well. reading right now is called The Elevation Approach. It's harness the power of work-life harmony to unlock your creativity, cultivate joy, and reach your biggest goals. So I've only read a bit of it, but basically she, it's kind of about burnout. And like, I love doing social media, but sometimes I do get burned out. I just, I don't want to film. So I'm trying to figure out how to create like a better work-life balance because social media is so 24 7 basically breaks the book up into four sections preparation inspiration recreation and transformation so i'm hoping this kind of just helps balance me a little bit because i feel like the more centered and relaxed that i feel the more creative i am and then the better content that i make one of my favorite content creators on youtube her name is wizard liz or the wizard liz if you have not watched her videos it's kind of like free therapy except she's very harsh and gives a lot of constructive criticism i'll link two of her videos that i watched this week i just think that she's very real and has good advice about how to hold your own how to avoid bad people how to avoid bad relationships and is also kind of hilarious so if you haven't checked her out i would highly recommend that this is my favorite kale salad i used to hate kale because who enjoys kale but i've figured out a way to chicken or chickpeas to this but i'm out of chickpeas and i recently did a blood food sensitivity test because i was having a lot of stomach issues when i was in australia in january and chicken was the number one food that was the most inflammatory for me so i've completely cut chicken out which was really hard because i had chicken like twice a day but all of my stomach problems have gone away since i stopped eating it so <laughs> <laughs> 